Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jose, the California Beekeeper. It's been a crazy, wild, busy season. If you're new to this channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like, comment, and share. We love hearing from you guys. Uh, it really helps this channel grow. Let's do this, man. Take a look, see what this is in here. Buddy, pretty good. There's some over there in the ditches. Huh. Yeah, the bees are on it. Very good. I'm out here gonna go uh, drop some cells really quick. I did some catching yesterday and go plop in those cells day after so it's a hot one it's 103 today look at that birds think i'm gonna die they're just out of their mind come on used to this 105 107 oh look there's a coyote right over there oh man you guys can't see it huh see if we can get a little close that's a big coyote a big one. It's pretty dry out here. California, Northern California. We are dry. Dry, dry, dry. Yeah, we're gonna go put these cells in go do some more catching we have uh, two cell builders coming off Saturday but we'll catch today give tomorrow just a break and then we'll just plop it in either uh, Friday evening or Saturday morning so the other day was a hundred and eleven up here it was hot it was very hot not much blooming out here but when when there's something I'll tell you what I'll pull over and I'll take a quick look at it see if it's something the bees can work what is that well that ain't no human poop look at that there's actually holy mouth Moly, moly, holy moly. Where's my hive tool? Look at that. That's like a tooth of uh, some critter. Or a claw. Bears starting to come down and they're wandering. I was just talking to a buddy uh, there on the coast. He used to work for the Department of Forestry, so he knows a lot about bears, so I was just my go-to guy. Give him a call and we just kind of give me a little breakdown on that stuff looks like bear stuff. So now what to do? We have nukes down over there at the barn. Not many. We have about a hundred. It's a small batch of nukes out there. We have about 170 further up near the property where we have the ranch manager and the workers. A couple hives over there. Down further out of the canyon, we do have the mating yard. So other side of this canyon or this ridge, we have the other set of uh, the mating yard. Well, not the mating yard, but the drone yard. Another one on the other side. 
see what we're gonna do i was gonna move some more nukes down in here they weren't doing so well down further in the valley just so hot they need to break some of these trees i mean trees you got the ants but then it's what do you what do you do you battle the heat you battle the ants the ants will kick your butt so will the sun man well for sure we're not bringing more in here that's for sure let's go check it out let's go drop some cells huh The other night I was um, putting a few cells in here and that peacock right there, I was done. That stinking peacock scared the wits out of me, man. Uh, I mean, 100% full scream, man scream. I mean, manly man scream though, you know? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he was up on the tree. And... Yeah, we've been busy. I just been going after it with the bees coming out of almonds and queen production 100% been a lot of stuff that we've uh well that i've learned we've le both learned is just man it's beekeeping so what's been new i mean nothing really new but mm -hmm. things that have not happened since mm -hmm. we haven't had we haven't had any bear damage mm -hmm. that's definitely a plus mm -hmm. if you're new to this channel we got hit by a bear last mm -hmm. year and did some damage we'll have to drop that link mm -hmm. in that description box and you guys go check it out all right uh yeah that was a hard one but no bear damage but we are seeing signs of bears and we are going to not move in any nukes here i did plan i did have plans on moving some in here and the reason why i wanted to move them in here is because there's a lot of trees but a lot of trees once it gets around one o'clock this whole open area starts to get shaded you can see well you can see for the most part where it's shaded not very close to the trees like those nukes and then those nukes uh they're doing pretty good we just move them every so often every time we catch move them out um, I made a mistake by moving them too close to the tree and the, the ants are messing with them, but they're, they're doing, they're doing awesome. I mean, for the most part, they're doing great. Uh, but these next set, we were going to drop them here. Just kind of go drops over there by the Creek. It is a dry year, very dry here in California and the bears are out looking for food and what a what a meal this would be huh bunch of little mini nukes filled with little bite-sized frames of brood be like a like little candy a little trick-or-treating candy huh almost tempted telling kelly hey let's get a game cam and see if the bears even snooping around through here uh, they do make these little loud noise things uh, motion detected sensors that just start blaring these loud noises uh, and I'm thinking maybe we should get just to kind of scare the bear if he is around but I do want to know if he is around got my brush well actually I do have my brush I just don't know where it's at in the truck if you're a beekeeper 
you know, sometimes our trucks can get a little messy. But for the most part, it's pretty clean. It's just, you can't find it. Uh, let's take these. Go put them in some, uh, some nukes. Right in there. You know, you can put it deep down. My experience, they do fine like this in the summer. No big deal. means uh have a virgin in there so i'm pretty tight on this schedule once in a great while I have one that uh is a little delayed i don't know i try to keep everything pretty uniform so it is a virgin i mark it and i'll take a look to see what the deal is if it remains a virgin she gets pinched I'll give her a couple days, day or two, see. She's fat, she's fat, she's, I just didn't see any eggs. And it's very important for me to see um, that she is properly laying uh, before she gets caught, so. Once in a while we get this, it's full of honey. This stuff is full of honey and I normally scrape all this stuff off, but when it has honey, I just leave it. No big deal. Once they consume all that honey, then I'll, well, I'll just uh, scrape it off in a little bucket and it's nice clean wax. So, great. This is a dead out right here. This is what I was telling you guys earlier about ants. This one got cleaned up by ants. Look at this. Brood. They just ate it up. A cleaned house. All right guys, that is it for today. Just a quick little video. Give you guys a little update of what's going on right now. Doing a lot of queen production. We're getting into the summer. So things are getting hot for these nukes. Extremely hot. But somehow, some way we are able to manage them. And I mean, you figure things out. A lot of guys say trees, ants, destroy your nukes. And you know, you just gotta pick your battles and figure things out. And what we figured out is that every time we catch, we move our nukes, just move them. Don't leave them in the same spot. So slowly we're moving away from where we initially dropped them underneath the trees. I was out here the other night, plopping in some cells and I just saw way too many ants all over these you don't see them right now oh man calm down you don't see them right now much but they're there they're there and they'll come out in the evenings night and you'll just see them all over these nukes uh they like to get into the syrup uh but they love that brood and they will eat those nukes up especially those little itty bitty ants uh, the big ones, the bees send, 
you know, I'll have to bring you guys out one evening. Uh, the bees just know that these ants are coming. They'll stay right in the entrance and guard their entrance. They'll beard out a little bit. So that's pretty cool what the bees are doing. And I'll have to show you guys that in another video. So hope you enjoyed. If you're new to this channel, well, hey, welcome. Make sure you go down below and smash that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up on this video, guys. And uh, we are off to go do some more catching. So, whoo, what a day, man, I tell you what. <laughs>